A few are wary about your power consumption in your home and you want to know more about which appliances are consuming the most power and this device will give you that information in an easy to use way. A lot of people don't realise how much power their devices use. Um, the research that we're doing at Nectar involves measuring how much power devices use under certain circumstances and trying to maximise the amount of power savings you can gain by using the device effectively. Power is really expensive and it's also expensive to generate. Um, raising awareness of power consumption in the consumer area is important um, to reduce power bills and our carbon footprint in the world. The E4 meter brings together the advantages of several devices which are currently on the market. It has a web interface so you can control it from practically anywhere on the internet. It allows you to control the outlets based on environmental changes, for example heat or light or motion, and it also can measure with quite high accuracy how much power you're using, so it has a good application in the research environment as well. So here is a general overview of the system. We have the outlets, so you can see it can control four separate devices. Each one can be individually controlled and individually measured. In the centre we have the brains of the system. This is based around a Teridian power measurement IC and this is responsible for controlling the outlets and interfacing with the sensors. The sensors are on an external board which you can mount wherever you feel like, wherever is necessary. And they'll record temperature, motion, light, potentially sound. The Lantronics Export Pro provides the interface which users can interact with uh, via a web browser and because it's web based it can be accessed from anywhere in the world um, from work for example if you want to turn on your heater or your air conditioning before you get home you can use the web interface to do this. It's designed as an Ajax application written in Google Web Toolkit and what that basically means is that the interface is very snappy and responsive. This is the welcome screen of the e meter. What you have here is basically a dashboard. You can see each outlet, you can see how much power each outlet uses and you can switch each outlet on and off individually. We also have separate screens for each outlet. These screens will show you how much power has been consumed in either the past hour, day, month or year for a specific outlet. It also allows you to configure each outlet and determine how it's triggered. For example, you could have an outlet which is triggered uh, when the sun goes down, you might want to turn some lights on, for example. Alternately, you could have it based on just a regular clock schedule. You can also configure an outlet to be triggered on movement, for example. You can have this hooked up to lights in your home, either as a burglar deterrent, or just so when you walk in the door, you don't need to fumble around looking for the light switch. And what you can even do is zoom in on a particular time frame and see what happened during certain times of the day. You might think there's some anomaly at six in the morning that you want to know about, and maybe it's the fridge turning on. And this allows you to take a close look at when your devices are consuming more power. One of the design constraints that we had when building the E4 meter is because it's designed to save power, we didn't want the device itself to consume too much power. So a lot of the optimization effort went into minimizing how much it's a, the device itself uses. As a design prototype, safety is an important factor and as such most of the subsystems inside the E4 meter are isolated. Um, this has had an effect on the overall cost effectiveness of our device. Projects like this are an important way to build system skills in our students. So the ability to design, implement, get working a complete system consisting of hardware and software. The best part of this project was being able to see all the hard work that you've put in over months and months finally come together at the end and you can see your tangible results and you know that it's going to have an impact. The design phase is also interesting but actually building the project was probably the most fun part. <laughs>